Detroit police tell us they're on the scene of a barricaded gunman on the city's west side. It's happening at a duplex on Aurora near Plymouth and Wyoming. We're told this started when the man came out of his home and pointed a gun at his downstairs neighbors who were having a 4th of July barbecue. The man then barricaded himself inside his home. It was a violent start to the 4th of July weekend in Detroit. Detroit police telling us of at least six shootings across the city overnight. And you can see where they happened here on this map. One of those shootings in southwest Detroit left one person dead and four others hurt. Please tell us those five people were a family on their way home from a barbecue. It happened on, a, on Homer Street near Lawndale. Please tell us the family pulled over. They were letting cars pass and someone in one of those cars started shooting, hitting all five people inside and killing a 39 year old woman. One adult fatally wounded, uh, one adult in critical condition. And then we have three children, uh, 15, 9 and 12 and the 50 year olds in critical condition. Tonight, police tell us they're looking for three cars in connection to the shooting. If you know anything at all about the shooting, you're being asked to call police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Prosecutors charge a man accused of a freeway shooting. He is 49-year-old Charlie Brown of Wixom. He is charged with assault with intent to murder, felony firearms, and more. He is accused of shooting at another driver on I-96 near Southfield Road on Thursday. State police say a gunshot did hit the driver's door, but nobody was hurt. Brown was given a $5,000 10% bond. Former Minneapolis police officer Tu Tao has been released from custody on bail. Tao was arrested and charged for his involvement in the death of George Floyd.